coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the top five most valuable Lincoln cent varieties that you can find in Pocket Change searching your change. This will be the first video in a seven day video series of top five coin related videos. So kick back, relax, and enjoy these images. First up, you are taking a look at a 1999 wide AM variety in 1998, 99, and 2000. They accidentally used some of the proof uh, Lincoln sent reverse designs for the business strike. Now the reverse is supposed to have a close AM and the designer's initials down by the memorial building should be different as well. This was a mistake by the mint now, out of the three years, 1998, 99, and 2000, 1999 tends to be the most valuable. They are the rarest and most scarce. They're the toughest to find out of the three. Now, in circulated condition, these can range up to $50. Uncirculated, uh, average uncirculated like MS63, they're around 100, 150 bucks. But if you happen to find one of these uh, in uncirculated condition, that is a very high MS, MS 67, 68, 69, really super high grade. These trade for thousands of dollars in very, very high grade. So these can be a very, very, very valuable coin if you happen to find one in super high grade. Now we are taking a look at a 1972 double die adverse. This is a type four. There are a bunch of different double dies for the series. The Type 4 is the rarest and most valuable. Now, the Type 1 1972 double die is the one that everybody knows about and most collectors are searching for. The Type 4, on the other hand, is extremely rare. It's a Class 1 double die. It shows counterclockwise rotated hub doubling in Liberty, in God We Trust, and on the date. In circulated conditions, the regular pocket change condition, these can range anywhere from $150 up to around $1,000. Now, when you find these in uncirculated conditions, they can run mega money. MS63, you're looking at two to $3,000, much, much more for higher graded ones. So these double dies can be worth a fortune if you find one of them in uncirculated condition. Now we are moving on to the 1992D, which is Denver Mint, the 1992 Denver Mint Close AM. Once again, the Mint messed up. They accidentally used some of the reverse uh, designs that were intended for 1993 and on. And they accidentally minted some of the 1992s with a Close AM. And once again, it should be a wide AM. 15 of them found so far all of which have been found coin searching or searching rolls so basically checking your pocket change or checking uncirculated rolls from the bank if you find one of these in any condition it is worth a decent amount of money just two years ago one of them sold for over twenty thousand dollars in heritage coin auction low grade circulated condition you're looking at a thousand to two thousand dollars all the way up to around twenty thousand dollars for uncirculated examples Now we are taking a look at a 1992 Close AM. They accidentally messed up, the mint messed up. They used some of the reverses that were intended for 1993 and on, which is a Close AM. 1992 and earlier, they should all be wide AMs. So in 1992, if you're searching and you have your jeweler's loop or magnification, take a look at that, the uh, A&M in America, and also take a look at the FG. Now. With the 1992, there, there's only eight of them that are currently known. All of the examples that have been found have been found coin searching or searching rolls. So basically people checking their pockets. So this is definitely one that you want to keep your eye out for. And like I said, there are only 15 known examples currently. And uh, one of these did sell recently in auction for over $24,000. Once again, it sold for 24 
thousand dollars. If you find any of these in any kind of condition or grade, they are worth lots of money. Uh, low grade, you're looking at a thousand to two thousand bucks, all the way up to twenty-four thousand dollars in nice uncirculated high grade examples. Now we are taking a look at a 1969S double die adverse Lincoln scent. This is a class five double die. This is by far one of the most famous double dies in all of the Lincoln scent series. Uh, this one has gotten quite a bit of publicity. When people bring up double dies, this is one of the ones that most people do know of. Most people are familiar with the 1969 S, the 1955 double die, and sometimes a few others. But this is the big one. Examples on this one have sold well over $120,000 in auction. If you happen to find one of these, they range anywhere from $4,500 to $5,000 in very low grade up to $125,000 in very nice high grade examples. Uh, they currently are around 32 known examples, all of which have been found coin searching. Every single one of them came from people checking their pockets, checking rolls, um, cherry picking coin shops. All of them, all of them came from coin searching. So it does pay to coin search. Now we are on to the bonus coin. The bonus coin is by far one of my all time favorites. This is a super ultra rare coin. This is the 1974D aluminum scent. There is only one known example. It is owned by uh, two gentlemen out in California. This coin, if it were to go up for auction, would sell well over a million dollars. This is the only example of the 1974D aluminum scent that is legally allowed to be owned. This was an experimental design change that the Mint was working on. They were at one point thinking of maybe using aluminums like some of the other countries do to lower the cost of minting Lincoln cents. Well, there you go. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is video one of seven days of top five coin related videos. All of our top five videos will be on either errors or varieties. If you have not done so yet, hit that like button and definitely hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers, the merrier. If you would like to help the channel, do so by hitting that like button. Uh, the more you hit the like button, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with other channels. Now we do have a Patreon account. If you would like to donate to it, feel free. We do have a link up at the top of the channel page. I do not push that on people though. So if you do feel like you'd like to do that, feel free. You do not have to. If you have not been to our website, it is varieteyerrors.com. Once again, that is varieteyerrors.com. I will post a link down in the comments. You can always find me on the Variety and Error Coin group on Facebook or the CoinOp group on Facebook. Feel free to check out either one of those two groups and join up and learn some stuff about coins. <laughs>